After five years at the helm, former MD of Heineken Malaysia, Berhad Hans Esari, is moving onwards and upwards. However, before he left, we asked him about what were his proudest achievements during his tenure and how he feels the company will fare going forward. So you have been the managing director of Heineken Malaysia, Berhad, for the yeah. past five years. So before you pass the baton to, Ro to Roland Bala, right? Yeah. What are the things, maybe you can talk about what kind of things that you have achieved and what are the things that you have not achieved in yeah. Malaysia? Now let's, let's start with the things that we did achieve uh, together and I think that's a real team effort. Um, it is clear from uh, maybe a slightly more uh, beer and stout, a lager beer and stout uh, centric company. We've mm -hmm. diversified into, uh, into a beverage company. Um, we have started to understand better uh, what consumers drive uh, moving forward. Um, what we did very well, we've added uh, what I call sustainability and co corporate social responsibility. Um, we made an integral part uh, of what we do. And um, what we continue uh, to commit to is uh, investing in the short and long term. There's always things to, to be done. Uh, if I, for example, think about safety, um, uh, safety in this company has become really, really key. Um, it's, a, it's globally within the Heineken world that uh, it's become uh, an important uh, KPI. Um, we've come a long way and I, I dare to say that we've made great progress. Are we there? Is safety fully embedded and ingrained in mm -hmm. the minds of people uh, that we don't have to tell them and police them around safety, but they do things uh, almost automatically. I think there is a bit of a journey there. Uh, I'm sure that with the measures that we have in place, we will continue to improve there. So, uh, Roland Bala <laughs> is going to take over yeah. as a new MD. Um, he was in Cambodia, he was in Vietnam. Probably you can share a little bit more experience, uh, more of his experience here. What kind of expectation for the new MD to be, you know, yeah. to bring in to this yeah. company? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Roland uh, joins us from, uh, from Cambodia, uh, from uh, CBL, Cam Cambodia Breweries Limited, uh, where he's done an extremely uh, good job. Uh, growing uh, significant market share and really leading uh, that business to, to greater heights. He's been with uh, the Heineken uh, business for, uh, for a relatively long time um, and also has gone through the ropes uh, in a way that makes him, I think, super fit uh, and suitable uh, to, uh, to take over. Now, based on the list of goods to be taxed under the SST, alcohol are likely to face higher taxes. How would this implementation of SST affect Heineken Berhard. It is an actual fact 10% and um, obviously as, a, as an indirect consumer tax it will be passed on uh, to the consumer. Uh, what we're trying to do, working with our distributors and our retailers, is we're trying to minimize the damage, uh, also in comparison uh, to, uh, to GSD, uh, that we make sure that consumers continue to pay a fair price for our products. Excise duty has been increasing as well. Will we, are we going to yeah. see uh, an increase in excise duty in the future? Uh, not in the foreseeable future. Uh, and this is uh, as a result of discussions we're having with, uh, with the Ministry of Finance and with Customs. Um, I think uh, longer term, uh, uh, beer, alcohol being a product in this market uh, that is sensitive, uh, we can maybe continue to expect. Um, but for the short term and the foreseeable future, uh, we're not foreseeing any excise tax right, right. increase. Yeah. So higher taxes also drive illicit market, not just alcohol, yeah. but cigarettes as well. So how are you going to fight this contraband? I mean, all uh, what these we, What we've market. created, uh, to, to, again, together with, uh, with Customs and, uh, and the Ministry uh, of Finance, is uh, what we call the multi-agency uh, task force. It's really as a win-win partnership to work together uh, mm -hmm. to find ways to combat uh, uh, contraband and illicit trade. It is an agenda that uh, is a common agenda where together we have to fight illegal product in this market. And uh, yeah, I, uh, I'm happy to say that uh, we're getting also increasingly successful in, uh, in, in doing so. Mm. You just released your financial performance yeah. and second quarter this year uh, increased about 6.4% to 421 million ringgit. Yeah. Are we going to see a similar trend for the entire FY18? Yeah. What we do see, I think there's a couple of uh, important uh, things happening, is that the, the positive outlook in, in the market, uh, the, the political landscape that has changed uh, quite dramatically, which we feel is a, is a very positive uh, signal. Mm. Uh, so there is positive momentum uh, in the market. Now, what we need to see 
uh, 1st of September coming uh, with the implementation of SST. How will that uh, exactly pan out? Uh, but mm. I think we are uh, cautiously optimistic uh, looking into the future. So one of <coughs> your brands, Apple Fox, has done extremely well, right? So any exciting brands that Hanukkah Malaysia is going to launch this yeah. year? Well, we are a, uh, a brand and marketing company um, and we're constantly looking uh, based on research, consumer research, what are the, the bets for the future.